So hello everybody and welcome to another Power Query video. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can reverse cumulative values using Power Query. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have shown you how to do this using DAX. I'm going to show you how to do it using Power Query. What I mean, I have here COVID data we're going to be, and as you can, as you probably notice if you try to download that data, it is Accumulated. It means that the number of cases get added for every row. So here, for example, Afghanistan, you see that 10th of March 2020 was eight cases, and then three more were added, so it's 11. And this is wonderful depending on how you want to analyze the data. Sometimes you just need to reverse this accumulation and just get new cases. I have shown you how to do that in DAX. I'm going to show you how to do it in Power Query. I had tried different methods for doing this, and the only one that was effective was this one. It's a bit convoluted, but it works and it's very effective, actually. So this is what we're going to do. What we're going to do first is create a index column. So add column index, index, index column there. And then that index column is going to start by zero and then one by one. I'm going to create another index column and this one, we want it to start by one. So what we're going to do is to get the index column and shift it up one. So you can see here it says zero, there it says one, one, two, and so on and so forth. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, because what we want to do is to demote the values, right? In order to be able to get the correct number of new cases. So. It's easier to show you than to explain it, actually. So if we merge this table with itself, so we got it there, overall cases, and then we bring index zero with index one. So what it says one here, it should be on the zero. That way we can actually shift, you know, the rows up. And then we're going to click OK. And even this is a massive merge, it does it very, very well. Maybe because the data is small and a lot of the values repeat themselves. I don't know. And here, we're actually going to get, uh, we're going to get country, region, and cases. The reason why we're getting country, region, let me change so I don't need to write that much. The reason why we're getting country, region also is because when you are doing the decumulation, whatever it's called in English, we needed to stop at each country. So we need to do this country by country, otherwise you will get the wrong values. So here we have the previous country and the previous cases. And as you can see, if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that seven was demoted by seven. So if I now subtract seven minus five, we will get the number of new cases, eight minus seven, and so on and so forth. So these, these are shifted. Now, how do we subtract this following its countries? So this is what we're going to do. We say if country region equal to the previous country region, it means if we are still in the same country, then return the previous cases. Otherwise, just return zero. In that case, we don't get any errors either. And I'll show you what it does first. And you can see here that it soon. So you will not see that it's done anything yet, just because we have to capture at the time that a country stops and a new country starts. And I don't know if Power will show it. So here it starts, the last one is zero, and then zero, 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 zero. That is the trick not to get errors. And now what we need to do is to have these minus cases. So here I can do cases minus the if statement to the results of what you saw before, right? And obviously we need to have a parenthesis otherwise Power Query will not be able to read the sentence. Uh, so now it's going to get the cases and then subtract the number of cases by country. 
So we can actually delete the index, index one, previous country, previous cases, and what is left is actually the new cases. We're going to look at the data, new cases, and then if we scroll down, we will see that it was one, so new case is zero. It, the one should be somewhere in here. So here you have the one and then nothing happens and then you get another case and then you get two more which adds to four and then you get one more which adds to five and that's how you get the new cases. Mm -hmm. I'm going to link down below. Um, it will show here a how to do in DAX. Recommend you to do it in DAX, but if you have to do it in Power Query, this works very, very well. So I will see you tomorrow with some chart ticks and trips and on Thursday, hopefully. So take care, enjoy the summer weather. We have beautiful weather in here. I'm so looking forward to it. Sorry that I didn't post last week more than one video, but for the last two weeks I've been working, working, working and not being able to put anything up. So yeah, these things are better now. <laughs> I will go back to the normal schedule, don't worry. See you soon. Bye.